All right, in this example, we've got a couple parametric curves that we want to find. Uh, at what point do they intersect? And to do this, what we're going to do is simply eliminate the parameter, set them equal to each other, and then we'll find the uh, point or points of intersection. So suppose our curve uh, C1 is described by the parametric equations x equals t plus 1, y equals t squared. C2, uh, our second curve, is given by x equals 3t plus 1 and y equals t squared plus 1, again, we're going to find the points of intersection. All right, so to do this, I'm going to eliminate the parameter. So for our curve C1 here, um, I'm going to take the, uh, the parametric equation involving x, and I'm going to solve for t. So to do that, we can just subtract 1 from each side. And then it says y equals t squared. Well, that means that y is going to equal x minus 1 squared. So now we've eliminated the parameter from our first curve. We can do the, second, or the same thing with the second curve. So let's see here. Um, I guess we would have x minus 1 equals 3t if I subtract 1. And then we can multiply both sides by 1 third. When we plug that into the other part, we'll have y equals, well, t squared plus 1. So that's going to be 1 third times x minus 1 quantity squared. All right, so maybe some kind of a, you know, tedious, uh, maybe tedious equations, but that's okay. So we'll set these equal. So x minus 1 squared, I'm going to set that equal to, well, 1 third times x minus 1 quantity squared plus 1. So I guess now we've just got a little quadratic equation. So I'm going to multiply out the left side. We would have x squared minus 2x plus 1. Um, on the right side, we'll have 1 third squared, which will be 1 ninth. But then again, we've got uh, x minus 1 quantity squared. So that'll give us x squared minus 2x uh, plus 1. Then we have our other plus 1 still hanging out. We can subtract 1 from both sides. That'll cancel that out. I think what I'm going to do is get rid of the fraction as well by multiplying both sides by 9. So we can multiply by 9, multiply by 9. So on the left side, we'll have 9x squared minus 18x. On the right side, we'll be left with x squared minus 2x plus 1. All right, so now I'm going to uh, make the right side equal to 0. So if we subtract x squared, we'll have 8x squared. If we add 2x, um, I guess we'll have a negative 16x, and then we can subtract 1 away. All right, so now we've got our nice little uh, quadratic equation here. Um, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a. So I think we're going to get some uh, maybe not so friendly numbers here, but that's OK. So let's see. We've got 16 squared. Uh, that should be 256. And then we've got negative 4 times 8. That'll be negative 32. Then we'll get a positive 32 um, after multiplying by the negative 1 all over 2 times 8, or again, 16. So this is going to be 16 over 16, plus or minus the square root. I guess 256 plus 32, that's going to be 288 over 16. So that's going to be 1 plus or minus, uh, I guess the square root of 288, that's not going to work out too nicely. I think I'm going to go ahead and approximate it, though. So the square root of 288 is roughly 16.97, all over 16. All right, so keep simplifying here a little bit. We've got 1 plus 16.97 over 16, and then 1 minus 16.97 over 16. So let's see, uh, 16.97 divided by 16... Uh, this is going to be roughly 1.06. So let's see, we'll get 
and I guess we'll get a negative 0 0.06 when we subtract. All right, so those are going to be the x-coordinates of the points of intersection. So really all we have to do now is figure out the corresponding y values. Um, again, we can go back to either equation. I'm going to use the, uh, the first one just because it's a little more simple. So we had y equals x minus 1 squared. Well, all right, so if we plug in 2.06, we'll have y equals 2.06 minus 1 squared. And then we'll have y equals negative 0 0.06 minus 1 squared. So, uh, kind of interesting. So let's see, 2.06 minus 1, that's just going to be 1.06 squared. So 1.06 squared. Again, I'm getting this to be roughly 1.12. And when we do, I guess we'll get negative uh, 1.06 squared on the right side. Well, if we square that, I guess we should again get roughly 1.12. So now we've figured out our points of intersection. Um, there's going to be a point of intersection at 2.06. That was the x-coordinate. And then we found the y-coordinate to be 1.12. And then the uh, other point of intersection will be at negative uh, 0 0.06 comma 1.12. So again, basic idea, just uh, eliminate the parameters, set them equal. Here we kind of had a sloppy quadratic equation, nothing terrible. Um, a little tedious, but again, just use the quadratic formula on one of these. And, uh, you know, at the end, once you get the x-coordinates, just like normal, plug it back in to figure out the corresponding y-coordinates.